Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for telling my wife that she needed to be at my graduation an hour before she needed to, because she is always late for things? I, 27 male, have been with my wife, 27 female, for 8 years. For 5 of those years, I was in the military and I developed the habit of being early for everything I do. It is a huge pet peeve of mine if people are late for things when they could have been on time. If something happens out of your control and you are late, then I totally understand. My wife is the type of person who is always late. Throughout our relationship, she has made us late for events and it has been embarrassing. One of the worst incidents, was when I was home on leave. We were planning on meeting my mom for breakfast, I haven't seen her in two years, at 9am. I told my wife the day before that I want to leave our place at 8.30 so we can get there by 8.50. We both wake up at 7 o'clock and I'm ready by 8 o'clock. At that point she hasn't even started to get ready. I remind her multiple times that we need to leave by 8.30 but she kept saying, we have time and I'll be fast. She didn't start getting ready until 8.30. Long story short we were an hour late and we lost our reservation because of it. I was pissed, but kept it to myself until we got home. I told her that I hated that she always made us late and it can be embarrassing sometimes. She apologized and said she would work on it. It never got any better. If anything, she would get short with me if I mention the time. Fast forward three years and I was graduating the police academy. The graduation was set to begin at 10 a.m. and people could start showing up at 9.15. Well, knowing my wife and not wanting her to be walking in as the ceremony was beginning, I told her that the graduation started at 9.15 and she needed to be there at 8.30 to find parking. Well sure enough I see her driving in at 9.15. Of course, I was a little pissed but glad that my plan worked. The rest of the graduation went as planned and I was happy. Afterwards, a group of us and our spouses went out to celebrate. At one point my wife mentions that she was lucky that the ceremony got pushed back or she was going to be late. My friends were confused and told her that they saw her car and that she showed up right on time. My wife then asked what time was the ceremony supposed to start? They all said 10 am. At that point my wife just stared at me and I knew she was pissed. When we got home, my wife blew up on me. She said she was pissed that I lied to her and didn't understand why I did. I told her that I knew that she would be late, and so I told her a slightly earlier time be safe. She said she was hurt and felt that I had manipulated her. This is where I might be the a-hole. I said, how do you think I feel? I told you that the graduation started at 9.15 and you were still late. You knew how hard I worked throughout the academy, and you couldn't even be on time for this one occasion? She got quiet and just said she's going to bed. She has barely spoken to me over the last couple days and I don't know if I was too harsh. So, am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. I literally had to lie to my mom about doctor's appointments, school events, games, anything that involved a time because she is always late. I still to this day have to lie to her about what time events start. It never occurred to her that being late affected everyone around us. I'd constantly get punished at practice if I was late. We've missed doctor's appointments that I needed for being late, and shed raise hell but it was her fault. It was embarrassing. I may have an unpopular opinion and hurt some feelings, but it is not cute to be fashionably late. It's not cool to always be late showing up to dates, appointments, whatever, etc etc. To me personally, you're telling me that you don't value my time, or me at all, because if you did, you'd make the effort to show up accordingly. Your wife should take some personal accountability and apologize in my opinion. The date thing, I use to make exceptions for people, but if you can't be on time for a first date, it's a bad sign for how seriously you take things later. I had an ex-boyfriend who was always late for everything. It's one of the main reasons that he is an ex. It's so disrespectful. I recognize some people genuinely do have a problem processing time, but usually, it's just the person doesn't care enough to make an effort to be on time. Not the a-hole. I wouldn't bother tricking her anymore, but I also certainly wouldn't wait for her. Next time you tell her that you need to leave by 8.30, then you leave at 8.30. If she is not ready, she gets left behind. If she is meeting you somewhere and she is late, leave. Every time she is so late, she is telling everyone that her time is more valuable than theirs. It is rude and inconsiderate. This is the right take. My mother did this to us as children, probably not the best idea really but it only took being left behind once or twice, for you to be ready when she said you had to be ready. As an upside, as an adult, it never takes me more than 5 minutes to be ready to leave the house. Not the a-hole, but you need to stop letting her make you late for events. 
with the breakfast with your mom, you should have left in time to meet your mom when you said you would. Wife can drive herself, take an Uber or stay home. You accommodating her gives her no incentive to change, and she does not respect other people enough to do it out of courtesy. So, hold to your own standards and she can reap the consequences of doing as she pleases. I know you really wanted her at the graduation so I don't blame you for what you did, but that trick won't work as a regular thing. I agree. When you let her make you late to meet your mom, that meant your mom had to wait an hour by herself at a restaurant she didn't even get to eat at. When I'm sure she was so excited to see her child after months apart. You prioritized your wife's lack of respect over your mother's time and love. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for kicking out my brother's girlfriend after she made fun of my wife's accent? I, 35 male, have been married, together for 7 years, to my wife, 27 female, for 6 years and we have 3 children, 4 female, 3 male and 1 male. I live and was born in the US, but my wife is from a different country and moved to the US 6 years ago. She is able to speak fluent English, but it is accented. A few months ago, my brother, 33 male, started dating his girlfriend, 30 female. Since they live 6 hours away, we usually don't see each other. Yesterday, my brother and his girlfriend drove to my house intending on spending a day with us and to introduce his girlfriend. Back at the end of December, my wife's parents passed away and it absolutely destroyed her, especially since she wasn't able to go to their funeral, COVID. So, I told my brother to be extremely respectful and remember to give her his condolences a few days ago. Yesterday evening when they came, my brother gave his condolences and introduced his girlfriend, she seemed okay at first. But literally, right after we sat down and my wife introduced herself to my brother's girlfriend, she made a joke about my wife's accent. I of course told her to cut it out, but around 10 minutes later she started mocking my wife's accent again. After seeing how hurt my wife looked by the jokes, they were closer to insults, I was absolutely livid and told my brother's girlfriend that she needs to leave. My brother said that they have been driving for a while, they're hungry slash tired, and that I should be more reasonable. I told him he could leave with her if he wants, his girlfriend called me an a-hole and went to their car. After she left, we actually had some good time together and my brother apologized for what his girlfriend said, but he still insisted that I was too cruel and should have given her another chance. Am I the a-hole? Now for the comments. Not the a-hole. One joke that stops after being asked to is one thing, but repeated insults are completely unacceptable. Good for you for standing up for your wife. Hopefully your brother reconsiders this relationship. The girl sounds disrespectful and rude. It's not a joke if you're the only one laughing. Not the a-hole OP. Not the a-hole, if she was so tired and hungry, perhaps she shouldn't have insulted her hostess. Exactly. It's a terrible way to secure a bed and a meal. Not the a-hole. Chick is racist. No room for racist at dinner, period. The next story. Am I the a-hole for calling my daughter petty for crying about not being mentioned in my award speech? In the area where I live, I have been a part of a professional association for 30 years. Ever since I was 26. Every year, there is an event where a number of awards given out. This year. The event was held over Zoom and I was told that I had been nominated for the Lifetime Achievement Award. My daughter, 27, decided to get tickets. My ex-wife, 56, also bought tickets because my son, 16, wanted to be there. I was happy they decided to be there, I am obviously on speaking terms with my ex-wife because of our minor son, and the more the merrier. My wife of a year, 30, and our son, 1, of course were always going to be my guests, so they listened in. I honestly didn't expect to win and didn't want to jinx things by preparing a speech, but when the time came, they announced my name. I was ecstatic because this was the highest honor to be given. My wife and my son were hugging me and she kissed me on the cheek. So, I started off my speech with that I was sitting here tonight with my beautiful wife and my wonderful son. I said that I'd like to thank them for their support, and owe everything I have and continue to do, to them. After saying that, I didn't know how to add in anybody else. So I thanked the professional association and ended the speech. Yesterday, I was in therapy with my older kids and ex-wife, and my daughter was sullen the whole session and finally started railing against me for ignoring the three of them during my speech, and said that my ex-wife could have been just as successful as me in my profession given how many ideas she's given me and helping me start my business, and that they were the ones dealing with my late nights and absences, and being poor for many years. 
I explained to all three of them that I didn't know I would win, and that I was obviously going to acknowledge the people who were currently besides me and was tongue-tied. My daughter didn't seem to accept that explanation and continued crying. I finally told her that at this point she's just being petty because of old grudges, and my son stood up and said excuse us for being with you at the starting line. My ex-wife also started crying and the therapy session ended there. Am I the a-hole for thinking that three weeks is enough time to get over sour grapes over a simple speech? You're the a-hole. You said you owe everything to your current wife and small child. I'd say she's pretty justified, especially considering they paid to be there. If I wasn't related to you and heard that, I'd think you had no other children. You may have been tongue-tied, but what you said was thoughtless and insensitive. Yeah, his wife of one year somehow helped with his career of 30 years. Her and no one else. Exactly. And their one-year-old son was a huge help. The son is Benjamin Button, and at the end of his life so he's helped tons. You're the a-hole. I'm not going to mention that fact that your new wife is three years older than your daughter. Oops. And like, 26 years younger than you. Oops again. But honestly? Seems like someone, hint, you, just wanted to show off his much younger bride. So instead of thanking the people that had by been your side for almost the entire time you had been doing this job, the people that had stuck by you even when times were tough, and when you were not present. You chose to thank the person that, honestly, had done the least for you. Came to say, you're the a-hole of the day. This right here. A deep and all-encompassing you're the a-hole. It truly floored me to read how incredibly dense OP is being about this. No empathy or consideration for anyone but himself. You didn't dispute what your daughter said, so I assume that what she said is correct. That your family sacrificed for your career and that your ex-wife contributed to your early success. It is very odd that you were up for a major award and didn't prepare a speech in advance. I mean, you've been to these events before, right? I can see how you got excited and messed up in the moment, but when your daughter called you out in therapy, where you were supposed to have these conversations, you called her petty. You're the a-hole. The last story is titled, Am I the a-hole for getting upset he gets me the wrong food all the time? My husband and I have been married for 22 years. We have two adult children who do not live with us, so we have been adjusting to trying to cook for two. Once a week, we order takeout for dinner, and despite me telling him verbally and via text message exactly what I want, he always comes back with something different. Last week, we ordered Chinese takeout. He asked what I wanted and I told him Kung Pao chicken with steamed rice. He came home with sweet and sour chicken with pork fried rice. It happens every week and I'm tired of it. When I confront him about it and ask why he ordered wrong food the first couple of times, he claimed the restaurant screwed up. I chalked it up to a restaurant mistake and moved on. But it's now becoming an almost weekly thing for the last six months. I'm tired of not getting what I want to eat, and I'm tired of him acting like it's not a big deal. This only happens when he orders slash picks up food, when I order it, everything is correct. He has no medical conditions that would make him order the wrong food. His excuse is that, what he got me was cheaper, or that I would like it better. Last night we ordered from a little deli down the block. I love their Cobb salad, and I knew he would come back with something that I didn't order, so I called in and ordered my own food. He asked if I knew what I wanted, and I said I already ordered and would be happy to pick up his food with mine. Now he's mad and says that I'm acting childish, and should have ordered both things at the same time. I told him that when he actually gets me what I want, I will gladly let him order my food, but until then, either I order it or we order separately. He thinks he is being punished and that I have no reason to be upset. Am I the a-hole for being upset that he gets the wrong food all the time? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. His excuse is that what he got me was cheaper, or that I would like it better. And he claims you have no reason to be upset? Frankly. Taking the food orders out of his hands is an underreaction to what's going on here. Either the two of you need to hash out why he's being so disrespectful and dismissive in counseling, or you just need to assess whether you actually want to be with someone who thinks he's entitled to exercise this kind of petty control over your life, simply because he can. I'm curious what incentive he has to be doing this. If he orders something OP doesn't like, is he eating two meals? Not the a-hole. If my partner brought back the wrong food on purpose even once because it was cheaper, I would throw the entire meal all over his entire body. What the hell? You handled yourself very maturely. I really am stunned at your husband's audacity. Waiting for someone to bring you the wrong food, so I can see that. 
Pro tip. Insist on relieving him of the burden of ordering and picking up, because you know, it's just hard. Ask what he wants. Order anything but that. Wait and see how long he finds it acceptable. Oh yeah, not the a-hole. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.